I'm Graham Murphy, a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today we're going to look at the Testo 417 100mm vein anemometer. Okay, here's the instrument. In order to turn on, we push this button, just touch the button, uh, the battery condition light comes up, and then it's ready to use. Okay, this is our reference airflow rig. When we have uh, 70.8 Pascal across the orifice plate here, as measured using this manometer, at, at, that moves around a fair bit, but it's, it's around 70.8. You can see that there's a fair bit of movement in that, but that's pretty close. We get 9.4 metres per second air velocity, 166 litres per second. Initially, I'm going to use this 9.4 metres per second figure just to check the uh, flow rate. Okay, this, you're looking at the business end of our airflow rig. We hold the, uh, the uh, anemometer 100 mil or so from the end of the, the outlet here and it's supposed to be reading around 9.4 metres per second which you can see there that's in, around what it's reading. So that's pretty good. Okay, this is the other end of our flow rig. Now we're going to measure the, uh, the volume of flow uh, that is being drawn in, which should be the same as the, same as the, out, the outlet there. It's 166 uh, litres per second. So, in order to use the meter to do this, it can do all the calculations for us, except we've got to enter the cross-sectional the cross -sectional area of this inlet. Now, if we put the tape across here, we see it's 345 by 345, and that works out, if we use the calculator, that works out to 1190. So we now pick up the meter. Now I push and hold the hold key. Now I can scroll through here, I touch hold. Now this is the cross-sectional area. Now I'm going to just use the up arrow here and make that 1190. Number 190, just take me a second to get here. Oh, hang on, check down again. Double one nine. That's it there. So I now push hold again to enter that. We can put a K factor in if we need to. In this case, we don't. Auto off is on, of course. Now the units are set to meters per second, which is correct. And the volumetric unit is set here to meters cubed per hour. Well, I'll change that to uh, liters per second. And push the hold. We don't want to reset it, etc. So now the machine is ready to go. Now. What we've got to do is do a time traverse of this, so I need to push the mean button twice. That brings up a timer. And here's the, the readings. Now, I hold the, re the meter on here and I wait till it spins up and I'm about uh, 20 millimeters or so off it. Now, it's spun up to, to speed, it's stabilized, about 140. So now I'm going to push hold to start the timer and do a Traverse. So I sweep down, up, sweep up, sweep down, sweep up. Now I push the hold button to stop. I now push the mean button, which gives me a mean velocity. Now if I hit the volume button here, it will give me the volume, which is 166.4 litres per second, which is the um, throughput of this rig at that pressure. Very nice instrument to use, very easy to use. Uh, leave questions in the comments. If you want to contact us, there's links there on the page, etc. Nice little instrument, the Testo 417. Thank you.